Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the Foxtech YouTube channel. Foxtech is a channel which has been providing you with tutorials literally for years and this is going to be one of them. This time we talk about flash or a torch on an iPhone and how you can add it to the home screen. Of course, if you swipe down to the notification panel or to the lock screen, you're going to notice that you have the toggle right here. and. In fact, on an iPhone, no matter what you do, you cannot remove it. It's always going to be there. So if you want to access it quickly from the lock screen, it's always going to be there. So yeah. And also, you probably know that you can access it from the control center. So you can see you have the toggle right here. You can play with the intensity even. Or if you don't have it, just you can, of course, add it from the settings from the control center. So make sure that the flashlight is right here. So these are the steps or the other places where you can get the flashlight. But in case you still wanna have it on the home screen, you have some options in fact. So what you can do is to use a shortcut. You know, Apple has came with the shortcuts app. This is what it looks like. If you don't have it on your iPhone, you can easily just get it from the app store. It's official, it's free. So go ahead and do that. But open up the shortcuts app like this. You can see at the bottom, you have shortcuts, animations, and gallery so go to the shortcuts like this and go to the all shortcuts whatever and tap on the plus icon to create a new one now it's going to show you some things and if you tap on add action you can add some things which are going to happen when you click the shortcuts and as you are in here make sure to search for flashlight so you're going to go like this set led flash set flashlight you can see scripting okay so set flashlight you can see the one with the blue icon so click on that and it literally says turn flashlight on so that's how it works and that's basically the all, all the thing that we want this shortcut to do so you're going to hit done and you can see we have it like this but click on the three dots and make sure that you go to this section and at the bottom we have the share icon so tap on the share and as you get in here, what you have to do is to add it to the home screen. So you can share it with AirDrop and stuff, but make sure to add it to the home screen like this. Now you can see that it is, this is what it looks like. So tap on the icon right here and make sure to change it. So you can change for like a different thing. So you can choose a file, whatever. In case you have something else, you can choose the icon and you can also remove the set or rename it as you want so let's say it's going to be the flashlight i'm going to click on add and that's basically how it works now when i come back to the home screen you can see that i have another shortcut here which literally says flashlight when i click on that it's going to activate it and turn the flashlight on so you can see it's very useful and i can do it with the click of a button by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now of course this shortcut only works to turn it on in case you want to have another shortcut to turn it off you also have the option so that's how it works basically but yeah you can always just tap on that you can see flashlight is turned on and now it's working it's working properly so yeah that's basically how we can add it to the home screen one more tip i would have for you is to use backtap you know backtap is a feature which works on basically any iphone any of the newer ones and what you can do is you can, of course, customize it by going to the settings, tap on accessibility, click on a touch, and at the bottom, you can see back tap. I have it turned on, and it's an option whether you double or triple tap the backside of the iPhone. You can see when I double tap the backside of my iPhone, I mean, you, of course, have to hold it in your hand. It doesn't really work all the time, but when I double tap it, you can see it takes a screenshot because this is what I set up the shortcut to do but you can change it to for example flashlight you can see when i come back double tap is flashlight now when i'm going to be back at the home screen you can see that i don't even have to touch anything i can just double side or i mean the double tap the back side like this and turn on and off the flashlight so it's really useful and it's a shortcut which i really like it's just, it's kind of something that you don't even usually know that it's part of the iphone so that's really cool and you can also utilize it for the flashlight in case you in case you use it a lot so with this tip i'm going to wrap up this video right now hope you found it useful and informative if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one thanks all for watching see you guys later